Hey guys, Drew with GeoArm and I'm back to talk to you about the brand new 2GIG Edge and its motion detector here, the 2GIG PIR1E-345. This is a pretty you know, small and compact motion and it's encrypted. So uh, we're gonna show how to get this thing learned in. Isn't uh, really too difficult. Um, the first thing that you wanna do is you can see that there is a screw on top of this. You wanna get that undone so that you can get the battery placed inside of this thing. And this screw does back all the way out. So we'll get that pulled out here. Okay. Now, the back plate should just come right off after you've done that, like so. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put the battery in place. Battery goes right there. Okay. Now we're going to leave the cover off of this because in order to get this learned in, uh, the cover does need to be off. So we're going to go ahead and hit the gear in the bottom right hand corner. The installer code is 1561, and that should bring up a brand new set of menu. Uh, so we're going to go into Installer Toolbox, which is in the third row, and then we're going to go into Panel Programming. Once you go into Panel Programming, a new set of options should appear. We're going to go into Wireless Zones. Now, in this case, if, uh, there, there are no zones learned into this panel, but if there were, you would see all of them over on this side over here and it would scroll all the way through them for as high as you have. Uh, in this case, I'm just gonna enroll it into zone one because zone one is open, brand new panel. Uh, what we're gonna do first is equipment code. When you go into equipment code, there's a hamburger icon to the right. You're gonna go ahead and press that, and then you're gonna choose the equipment code for you know whatever it is you're working with. In this case, 2869 is the E-Series PIR with pet immunity, which is this, ta -da. And uh, then after you've chosen that, you're gonna press the down arrow in the bottom of the screen. And it's gonna ask for sensor type. This is where you're gonna give the sensor its responsibility. Uh, you, for a motion detector, typically you wanna set it as an interior follower, but there's also an interior with delay setting if you need an extra you know, delay on the motion. So in this case, we're just gonna go with interior follower, which is standard setting for a motion. Then we're gonna press the down arrow. At this point, uh, it's going to ask you for the equipment type. Uh, we are using a motion. Um, the reason why they ask is because sometimes they, you know, you can set it up, you know, a door window contact under an interior follower type. But typically, it's set up as a motion. So go ahead and just leave it as motion, then press the down arrow. At this point, it's going to ask for the serial number, the TXID of it. Uh, to do it on the on the motion, all you're going to do is just press down the tamper switch, like so. Uh, after pressing learn, of course, on the keypad. So bottom. Uh, right hand corner you'll see the the word learn go ahead and hit that and it'll start listening there it is at that point it has learned in because I pressed the tamper switch so you're gonna go ahead and hit accept and then you'll see the TXID uh, populate press the down arrow uh, loop is gonna be one for the motion detector um, just go ahead and hit the down arrow and then this, this is where we're gonna choose the voice descriptor so uh, I'll just call this like living room motion so we'll go LI and then you choose living and then room, and then motion. Boom, at that point you hit done, and then the voice descriptor is in there. Uh, you don't wanna chime typically on a motion detector. It kind of uh, kind of gets annoying every time you walk past a motion, it's gonna, it's gonna chime at you or, or say what the zone is. So typically, you know, you wanna go ahead and, and leave it disabled. In this case, I will go voice only, just so you guys can see that it is working. Um, and then you're going to hit the down arrow. Uh, this is smart area assignment. I'm just going to leave it in, you know, area one. Uh, transmission delay. This is where it gives it an additional delay until it transmits uh, to the central station uh, when it's triggered. Uh, typically, I disable that because I want it to immediately go uh, to the central. I don't want there to be a delay um, for that signal to get to those guys. Uh, so after you've disabled that, sensor reports enabled. You want to leave that that way unless you don't want the sensor to report. And then uh, sensor supervised, you want to go enabled. Uh, at that point, you have configured the zone. You can hit the back arrow and you can see everything that's configured over on this side under the listing. All right, now we're going to put the cover back on this device and then get the screw reinserted. And at this point, we can go ahead and get this tested. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and click the Show More tab underneath the video where you can view valuable links pertaining to this product, similar how-to videos, and our low-cost, no-contract alarm monitoring services.